Health leaders say if you live in Metro Detroit, you're living in a COVID-19 hotspot. Now beds at Beaumont Health are filling up fast and officials say between 65 and 70% of the patients they're treating and the patients that are dying are unvaccinated. We're not doing the same things we used to do to protect ourselves. The consequences show themselves in the numbers. Doctors at Beaumont Health say they're caring for almost 400 COVID patients across all of their hospitals. And state hospitalizations have jumped 20% in the past week. Each surge along the way usually went up high, fast, and came down fast. Um, this has been very different. We've been going up nowhere near as fast, but steadily since July. Dr. Matthew Sims, head of infectious disease research at Beaumont Health, says multiple factors are to blame for the climb in cases, including the relaxing of COVID-19 restrictions, kids back in the classroom, and the colder weather. At the same time, Delta became the primary variant seen in the U.S. The Henry Ford Hospital System is in the same boat. They tell us they currently have 243 hospitalizations compared to 172 last month. To the west of us in Grand Rapids, Spectrum Health says they're almost out of beds. We are at capacity. Uh, we've never been busier as far as both in, inpatient COVID and non-COVID care. Our hospital census reached an all-time high this week, um, and our numbers just continue to go up. Dr. Joshua Koistra is the chief medical director with Spectrum. He says they've already had to expand into different areas of the hospital where they don't typically provide care, and staff members are running out of steam. COVID is a significant strain on an already busy system. Well, because of the high volume of patients here at Beaumont Health, their ERs are experiencing longer wait times. But officials say if you have a medical emergency, do not hesitate and seek care immediately. Live in rural Oak, I'm Alex Bozargian, 7 Action News.